34, the eighth petal. Hello, dear friends, how are you? We are back with the online classes of Education 3000. I am Noemi Payimal. And today, did you know that we have an eight and eighth, eighth petal? That the seven petal school we only consider an extra petal. And you know what it is? Mm, yeah, the family. The family is part of all education systems all around the world and it's beautiful to have this contention of the family when possible. So we want to talk about that and how teachers and parents they work hands to hands. Let's start. So as I told you it's called the eighth petal and it's about the family and the, the roots to have, you know by your roots like even though we sometimes we move or we are an immigrant or we are expat, we have the double roots. We have the roots where we are born and we have the roots of the land where we live. And that's very nice to know about the land, the tradition, the history, the ancestors, all the local, you know, the local habit, it's so rich and local plants and local culture, knowledge, technology. So we think that's family and what I call the roots or cultural roots, it's what gives a base that gives a, a nice platform to build your life on. It gives you self-esteem as well. It gives you strength. Sometimes in pedagogical it's called systemic pedagogy, actually. Systemic pedagogy. It's from Beth Bedinger's. They say that if you have the strengths of the past of your ancestors and of your parents and grandparents and you recognize it, the, the kids are much stronger. And then they accept the other one. So it's part of peace culture as well. If you accept your own culture or own culture, of course, you accept the one of the of the others. So it's built in inside the this culture we really want to. Remember the seven petals? It was we talk a lot during level one. It's a blue petal here, up here. On the slide you can see the physical and kinesthetic development, anything with physical movement, physical exercise, movement, dance, anything, but to have a very healthy body and something you like, and if possible, not competitive. Then we have the cognitive, but it has to be articulated and fun, the social and multicultural development, the aesthetic, which is hard, ecological, and on to do personal development. So what we decided to do, is to have a, an extra petal and we call it the eighth petal and it's golden in color. And we call it the petal of the family, like thinking families, we all accompany the children and families is always grandparents, aunt, I mean uh, uh, the extended family is in charge of giving a nice contention, a nice environment, safe environment, emotionally safe, loving, caring, because that gives good, a good start in life. So the families accompany children and young people in their integral development processes, setting an example. Yeah, because they say, how do I do? <laughs> Let me show the example. Like, um, what do I do if my kids are screaming? You know what? We don't scream ourselves. It's, it's so easy. I mean, sometimes it's such a mirror effect. And uh, nice contention, peace inside, peace outside. It's, it's a way of living more than tips and techniques. And you know what? I saw so many books, so many books on how do I raise a child. The best way to raise a child is this book, your child will never cry. Oh, we will go to bed so fast. It's not techniques. Well, some techniques helps, of course, but it's really 
a way of life. Um, beautiful habits. It's caring, loving. It's it's like I knew I knew a grandmother, and she was very surprised. She she's very peaceful. I love this. She's a very good friend actually. She's from Mexico. So the the grandchild the grandchild said um, yeah yeah or granny or grandma whatever. Can you read me a story before I go to bed? So she took the kid and she started to read uh, a nice story. So please, it has to be a nice story, something that really raises consciousness and vibration and feelings. Not the story where everybody's dying and cold and they get lost in the forest. Find the best story, of course. If not, make a point. I'll ask the, the children to help you too. And then he, the kid, he fell asleep so fast, like in one minute. But the next day, when he woke up, he remembered. And he said, yeah, yeah, or grandma, thank you for you, because you read the, the story for me. And she was so touched, because it was only one minute. I mean, it was not that much time. It's not, you see the quality of time. And he, he, he thought in the morning to thank her. That's very nice. Anyway, let's go. So we showed the example, and we know we are jointly responsible with the teachers of their, of your children. Parents and children are together to have a beautiful, comprehensive education for the children. Because sometimes it's like, oh no, it's a teacher's fault. Oh no, it's a parent's fault. And it's not like that. We are all together, and it's a beautiful journey, and we enjoy it. And well, as I told you, this better represent the local culture and the roots. And bueno, bueno, bueno means good in, oh, let's go on in Spanish. My formation, I don't know if I told you at the beginning, but I am an anthropologist. So my formation, my training was about listening to people to honor the culture, all the different cultures of the world, all the different languages and habit. And it's so beautiful. This earth is tapestry of rich culture and rich everything, everything from art to song to ancestral memory, oral culture, um, beautiful. And I think in education, we more than ever, we have to honor that because that's our luggage is like what we are bringing with us. It's inside of us, it's our DNA. And by honoring that, to build the future will be much easier, you see? Because we have, we are a whole, we are together. We, we recognize who we are on many levels. So the eighth petal, if you are building a school, please always consider the parents. If you are a parent, consider yourself. <laughs> we, we train ourselves, we, if you want, to do something for the, for your children, we start with ourselves. In the peace, no violent communication. We, we show ethic, we show joy, to be enthusiastic about everything. That the kids, they love, they love when they see the parents. Sometimes there is some games so or we do an activity and the parents are even more excited than the children. But the children are so happy. Like um, I had a workshop, it was in Argentina. And uh, to, we had to do the blue petal. So I, we said, or oh, I said, I don't remember, but we said, oh, let's do a parkour. You know parkour when you jump all over the place? So we did a mini parkour and the teacher, they jumped by the window and they have to do a couple of rolls and all that. And then the kid went to pick up the mom, the dad, and the kid said, oh, how was your day, ma'am? We did a parkour. And then the kid said, oh, mom, you did a parkour. So sometimes you see, it's as simple as that when we can do a parkour together at home and enjoy and have ice cream and whatever. Um, what I want to say with the eighth petal, it's not a burden like, oh no, parents, school parents, and I have to go and it's, it's so full. No, 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 it's go back to life. Go back to oneself, go back to the pure love and the pure joy, and that's it, you see? And uh, of course, this is, Video 34, I mean, we talk, I talk so much. Of course, everything we said is, is good. I mean, we have very good tools, all of us. But then the last tool is the one inside. And this one, it's you. 
Nobody can give it to you, nobody can sell it to you, nobody can take it from you. It's ourselves, our life, our energy, our beautiful vision of the world. And this is our best gift for the children. Thank you so much and see you to the next video. The next video, let me see, it's something very nice. It's about, yeah, we talk about the families, but I want to talk about, yes, the teachers are so nice. And uh, I think it's uh, a teacher and hero with an H. Hero, 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 like Superman, Superman. So see you at the, on the next video. Take care. See you.